If people's living standards are not up to a level where they can be assured uh, food and health care and uh, a place to live without being uh, exposed to starvation or war, then when you talk about human rights in that context, it, it, it lacks, in my view, it's an absurdity, it lacks substance. Why do you think the U.S. and the West, some Western countries, are so negative about the PRI? Why? Well, I think it's a combination. If you're asking about the general population, they're being exposed, even in Sweden, to a mass of mainstream media propaganda, which is partly very anti-China. Uh, they assume that the Belt and Road Initiative is some kind of submission to China uh, as a growing world power, which is, it is not. That dominance has played a fundamental role in not accepting any other uh, developments in world history, like the rise of China, which is a fundamentally good development for not only China, but I think for many uh, developing nations and for the world. China has a, a long and fundamentally great Chinese civilization, which is not understood by the West.